What I've come here to Lincoln to talk about is whether the United Kingdom is going to withdraw from the Human Rights Convention. Now, for some years now, the Conservatives have been promising to do that. They published a policy paper last October. They've been promising a bill, a draft bill of rights and responsibilities to put that policy paper into effect. Now, we haven't had that draft bill. We're already in March. Parliament's going to be dissolved in less than three weeks' time, and the election campaign begins. I think it's too late. Something's gone wrong with the Conservative policy. I shall be discussing why this may have happened in my lecture tonight. Law, which is a moving subject, um, a daily subject, current affairs rather than history, I think it's very important for law to uh, keep in touch with what's going on and for law students in particular to know what's actually happening in the courts day after day. The law's changing every day. The judges won't hold up the law just because you've got exams. You have to keep in touch day by day. And that's why it's so important, I think, to offer law students not only a history of how we got here, but where we are today and where we're going in the future. The law degree will equip you for many things in life. I went into journalism. But a legal training is a very good training, really, for anything that um, a graduate chooses to do because it teaches you to think. It teaches you to put your thoughts in order, to express your views clearly, to look at the evidence, to draw conclusions, to argue, to write, to think. And that is a very useful thing for any student and should prepare people for a career in pretty well anything. It's obviously a great pleasure to come back to the university that has given me this honorary degree and to talk to the students and anyone else who wants to come. It's an opportunity for me to meet students and people here in Lincoln, um, and it's an opportunity for me to try out my ideas on real people, because the thing about broadcasting is uh, the listeners and the viewers can't answer back, at least not for the time you're actually talking to them. Whereas here at Lincoln, in a lecture theatre, I'm open to questions and uh, disputations from anyone who disagrees with what I have to say.